This episode is sponsored by John Maz, who says... Quack, quack, bang. Quack, quack, bang. Fab, who says... Give Eric more rum. That man is awesome with rum. Wow. Chromie, who says... What you know about Minecraft, hater? Imperialistic, who says... Our home is back. Thank you, Ben and Alif. Nosy, who says... Spawn life. Mr. Forbes, who says... Mr. Forbes says Mr. Forbes says Mr. Forbes says... <laughs> Kaylin, who says... Dad, can we play the making house game now? G-Man0184, who says... In Soviet Russia, Shaft digs you. Stephos Walk, who says... Celebrating her 200th episode. Wow. Woo! And Eggs54222, who sent a gift for us. Yes. And Ab, who says... Give Eric more rum. The man is awesome with rum. Oh, we just lost 20 listeners. Mm. Can't sleep, gotta build. There's a ground that needs to be drilled. From the Dead Workers Party, a podcast about all things Minecraft. Enjoy your stay in the Shaft. The Shaft, episode 44, recorded on August 6, 2011. I'm Brent Copeland. I am Wes Wilson. And I am Eric Fullerton. And we have a special guest. A guest. A guest. Be our guest. Be. Hi, Joe. How's it going? Howdy, y'all. I'm Joe Hills, and I'll be your guest. And he's from Nashville. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I come down here to Huntsville, Alabama to have fun with these fellas. Here in the studio with us. Yes. I am indeed. He drove all the way down here. I think he had fun with us last weekend, too, but... I don't remember the voice. I don't either. <laughs> this was something. This is something new, Joe. I, I don't. I don't recognize you having such a strong southern accent. Well, let me tell you. This goes back to when I was in high school. One of my friends. He grew up in Tennessee. Lived in Tennessee all his life, as did his dad. But he was half Japanese, and he would wear goggles on his head and had dreadlocks. And every time he got in a conversation with the police, he would just drop from a "Hey man, what's up?" into Oh, I'm sorry, officer. We weren't going to put those bamboo up on the up on the ridge there to make any sort of sled run. We were going to go poling down the river on rafts. And uh, <laughs> so I started adapting my own voice, picking up a little bit of a southern accent whenever I had to deal with authority figures because it just plain worked. And uh, <laughs> so when I started working on my show, Joe Hill's Play Super Hostile Legendary, I noticed all the other Let's Play videos on the YouTube. They're either folks from the UK or folks from up in, like, the Midwest with, like, <laughs> uh, I can't even do it, but them voices where they're like, don't you know, and all that. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Oh, don't you no. Know. <laughs> and uh, you know what I realized was there are a lot of unsuccessful videos from people that have voices that are a lot like how I normally talk. And I started putting two and two together, and I got the square root of 16. And so, you <laughs> Very know. smart. It's just, well, I am college educated. It doesn't show, but <laughs> <laughs> despite the best efforts of the university I had to get out of there with a degree on time so oh, I, I support you I support any person who says that the word west has two syllables <laughs> west 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 <laughs> Wilson west yeah, that's right it's nice to see you west mm -hmm. oh boy west that was a little Cajun yep well, that was uh, an awesome big uh, introduction there. I so, think. speaking of your videos, where can people find them? Uh, they can find them on the YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash Joe Hills Tango Sierra Delta, or TSD. If you really uh, wanted to spell it out for what it means, it's Team Snow Day. But anyway, Joe Hills TSD on YouTube, and I've got over 105 videos up, and uh, they're pretty popular. So. Sweet, and you haven't uh, you haven't actually been doing this for a long time either. I mean, you, you're you're very rampant about uh, uploading stuff like two a day and stuff. Yeah, I've been shooting for two or three a day. Um, I started on June 28th when Vetch is the fellow that makes these maps put out Super Hostile Legendary, and my goal was to be essentially at the head of the pack. So when people said uh, they got frustrated and they said, "Dang it, I can't figure out how to beat this dungeon," well, I wanted them to Google the name of the dungeon. 
and have my video be the only one that was already up. Oh, that and makes sense. So, you know, I got a lot of people just kind of finding me that way. And, uh, yeah, so I got 105 I videos since June 28th. <laughs> What, what, what's the matter, Brent? I just, <laughs> just no idea. Brent, Brent has two syllables now. Talk, you, talk to you forever. I just don't know if I can do this for an hour. <laughs> yeah, folks. But I'm, I'm sure we can work through this. Yeah, folks that already know me tend to have a problem with the voice, but folks that don't seem to have no problem with it. But I think Eric's got a little board over there where you can just mute your mic and you can whimper in a That's ball. Right. That's and, right. Uh, that'll be that okay works. too. That works. He'll mm. probably leave it in. He likes to do that to me. With yeah. a whimper and moan. <laughs> yeah, we, we should uh, probably get into something here, and then uh, we can continue. Uh, okay, let's get into heels. something here. Let's do it. Our journeys. Our journeys. Journey. Cool. Okay, right. so. Uh, I had a journey this weekend. I walked into the podcast room to get ready this morning early because I normally get here about six in the morning to get ready for the show. <laughs> six but in the morning. I, 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 it was more like four uh, today, maybe three. But anyway, there was a box sitting on the desk over here with an address on it, <gasps> and it's from our good friend uh, Eggs. You remember Who came Eggs? and visited Five, us in the studio. Th- yeah, and they said they were yeah. going to send us something. Yeah, from uh, New Orleans. Oh, from from New Orleans. From New Orleans. New Orleans. Did I get get some beignets? uh, You got some bags. Apparently, there's one for each of you. Some bags? Oh. Yeah, I like bags. Bags are cool. So, one thing we all need, and these are awesome. Oh, very nice. We've got some cups here. Le Creux de Etat. Yes. Pass those around. We should, we should show these off. Is there a camera? Yeah. Le yeah. Creux de That's yeah, cool. very fancy. Yep. You want to see one? We've I got like some, getting uh, gifts. Yeah. These oh, are these from are 1996 cool. or 2006. 1996? Yep. I don't know. 1996. Fridge hurling. There's a fridge hurling team. Do you see that? I do. That's kind of creative. Okay, so the next thing, bridges. they're they're all kind of tangled, but uh, as I get them released from their entanglement, they're dragons on necklaces, and there's... Oh, oh wow. wow! Nice! One rubber for, dragons! One for each of us, at least. Rubber dragons. Rubber dragons. Oh, wow. We, we got text. We uh, the rubber dragons. Beads. Beads? Sweet! Lots of Goal, beads. like Dead Workers Party. Yeah, very nice. This uh, is craziness. More necklace eye. Very cool. It's wrapped up really well. There's a bunch of... But I, I noticed this one thing in here. You know, we have mm-hmm. our picks. But <gasps> our picks are all flimsy and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Wow. This is made out of wood from wow. Eggs54222. This is the shaft. And, oh. and those listening to the uh, audio podcast, these are, yeah, these are wooden picks. And the... Uh, oh, this is cool. Yeah, from Eggs to the shaft. And... and uh, it's the, diamond too. The pick, it's, yes, it's that's a diamond no, one. That's yeah. no, that's no chumpy <laughs> stone pick. Arr. That's a diamond pick. Yeah, it hurts too, and you hit yourself in the temple with it. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah, do awesome. that. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I love it. And what did you ask for? You asked for something I thought. Well, we'll hang this, we'll but hang I said up. they couldn't get him for me. Well, they can't, but they did get you some. Uh, Mimi's Louisiana uh, pecan candy pralines. Nice pralines. Oh, they were oh, yeah. pralines there are delicious. Excellent, excellent. One for you. Oh. We got some over here for you, Joe. Oh, thank you. And yeah. heads up, coming up. <laughs> there we go. All right, everyone's wow. going. It's like a care package. It is. Yeah. Sweet. And there's a bunch of text. They didn't get the memo about short messages, so we'll read these we'll later. Yeah, we'll read that later. Um, I think they're all about how awesome Eric is, I yeah. think. <laughs> yeah. And how he looks um, dashing in his black shirt. Dashing. Which oh, black well, shirt? Here's you might a short ask. one. Any black shirt. Uh, yes. <laughs> many. Mary sent us uh, a small. This is a short one. I'll, I'll read this one. Okay. Uh, watch the podcast. I am now going to play Minecraft. Thanks again for letting us barge in. Sincerely, Mary. So Nice. That was awesome. Thank you all for coming down and seeing us. We corrupt. Young and old alike. <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. excellent. Well, wow. Well, that well, was special. And they've actually invited us to come down there to New Orleans. Oh, oh. oh. maybe oh. when we ride a pig to Biloxi, we can hit on down to the Nolans. A little Mardi Gras show. Get you a creeper float. 
Yeah, creeper, creeper float. float. Yeah. Or maybe something like a sheep that's a bit more horizontal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. Well, cool. Well, yeah. thanks a lot. And, uh, you know, anybody else who wants to come and hang out at the studio? Yeah. Just throw us an email and we'll let you know where and, to and go. Anybody and else who wants to send us stuff, y- you can do that too. Yeah. Yeah. 205 Turnbrook Drive, Huntsville, Alabama. Okay. Oh. I probably shouldn't have given that out. I was hoping you were going to rhyme that again at the end and then you didn't. All right. Well, that's the address, I guess. You just put it on out Good there. The zip so. code. Oh, that's great. Five. So, uh, Three, Brett, five, eight, two, four. what else happened during your week? Oh, uh, you know, we went to play on Con. Oh, how was that? And it was crazy. It was, it was crazy. We was filmed it a lot of stuff. Crazy and on you. It was. And we got mm-hmm. a server all set up for yeah. people to play on, and then we never gave out the address. Yeah, them, I noticed so. that. So we got to send, send a big old shout out to Almas at uh, servercraft.co, who does yeah. all of our servers for us. He was actually out of town and got back into town three days before and had it set up that day. Nice. Raring to go. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, you should, and I actually got a lot of uh, uh, direct tweets this week asking about Servercraft from uh, some uh, big folks in the community. So I don't know if they're looking for servers. Uh, servers have seemed to be kind of weird lately. Have y'all noticed that? Like servers down and up, up and, and down. Oh yeah, big and time. On wrong, you know, numbers and just it's just weird. I, yeah. I don't know if there's some something going on with servers. Yeah. Anyway. So, I uh, also uh, had a chance to play a lot with uh, the Adventure Time Texture Pack. My son oh, Adventure Time. Uh, Adventure wanted it. Time! Yeah, so you've seen Adventure Time. Oh, yeah. You have not. I haven't. No. I have not either. Yes, it, I'll pull it, it up. It's, it's actually awesome. pretty funny. It's, it's really wacky. Like, yeah. parents who don't get wacky are going to hate it. Yeah. They're going to be like, I can't believe my kids are watching this crazy stuff. But it's really crazy. It's actually, it's it's kind of like when SpongeBob first came out. It's something entertaining for adults and kids if you can get into that. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, they made a texture pack and it looks, I mean, it looks like the cartoon. It, it really does. And even the, um, the nether, it was all like water instead of nether rack. And I was like, that's weird. It's just all water. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's the crystalline world or something that's from the cartoon that I know about. So apparently they did a great job. He loved it. My daughter wanted it, too. So she got it. She's five. And so they've both been playing with that texture pack. And the mobs just look all crazy. I mean, just crazy. Uh, like, what are they? Are they all crazy, like, different colors and stuff? And they Well, they look like mobs from the cartoon. Like, wolves okay. actually look like the dog, the yellow dog. Yeah. Uh, I don't know his name. I don't watch it that I much. I forget it, too. Uh, but uh, things like the Creepers, I'm sure they're like stuff from the cartoon, but it still looks creepy, but in that same in you that know, style. Yeah. yeah. So I, I've been dealing with that. He wanted a bunch of other mods put in, but I was just like, seriously, they're going to update this stuff, and it's all going to break, and I'm going to have to do it again. And so, Jacob, I hope you're not listening to this. I lied to you. <laughs> I probably could have actually gotten it working for you, but I really didn't want to go through all that. Jeez. So I might do it next week just because I feel bad. Cause he's cold, cold. He, he made him cry. No, he didn't cry. He was really understanding no, about it. No, I mean, it. he's it listening, feel, he's listening right now, and he's crying right now. Yeah. He knows I love him. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, I got some playing time on the I Has Cupquake Map Edition. Have y'all heard about this? Oh. Do tail. No, it's just it's just a map thing I started when we had IS has Cupquake on the uh, show. Oh, okay. I just put that in as the seed, and so anyway, I, I did a lot of mining, and uh, my bed in that place. I go to sleep, and a mob spawns every time. That's and weird. It, it's a real small room. There's like I don't. It's lit up really well. I don't know why it's happening. So if anybody can let me know what I'm doing wrong, let me know. Anyway, uh-huh. what about you, Eric? Well, me, I, uh, I, I played some crazy uh, PvP action with uh, EZ over on the Discover server and uh, the Discover Chaos server, which and now apparently they're going through uh, some uh, changes of admin or something. Um, something is happening, and I don't like it because the server's down. So hopefully someone else will take it over. I don't know what the politics are, but anyway... So, Politics. Uh, but uh, but I, I I played uh, a bunch of PvP over there with her, and she she showed me her secret base, and I found that you could do a slash set home, because you know you you make this secret layer, and you, it's all cool and awesome, and then you just lose it because you just can't find it again. Simple as that. 
happens every time I play. So uh, now you do a set home, but you can't just go all willy nilly, you know, uh, <laughs> like teleporting to your home whenever you feel like it. You actually go into the city, uh, and you stand on these little uh, diamond um, blocks. And it's like a teleport pad. You have to stand on these and then do slash home or something like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that yeah. a lot. And then you go to where you set your home. And uh, and the uh, the they changed, I guess since we've done a show, they've changed the spawn point and made it a, a awesome looking city. Uh, anyway, so so much fun. So me and Easy sat there and we went to these uh, little arenas <coughs> where you can go and PvP inside you know, a little arena thing. And uh, we, we teamed up 2v2. Like, me and her were on a team, and anybody who goes in the arena would get owned. Or we, we got owned plenty of times, too. Owned. But, uh, but it was so much fun. It was so cool. I love it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I came and joined you <clears throat> for a little while, a couple weeks ago. Um, and it was kind of cool because, you know, of course, there's lots of people who are like, oh, it's Wes and Eric. Oh, let's hang out with them. Yeah. But then they think it's really clever to, like, pretend to be our friends and then, like, kill us when yeah, we're just all hanging out. I know. You know? That happens really? a lot. Yeah. And, yeah. It, it, I mean, because you want to – I don't want to be a jerk and say I, I don't know you well enough to trust you, yeah. you know? Yeah. And they're they're fans of the show, and they're like, hey, can I, can I come and hang out? And I'm like, sure, you know? And the next thing you know, they're like, uh, well, I just thought it would be cool to kill you 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 know i'm like <laughs> that's what yeah. i do to you that's just like well that's not that's i can't wait till i get so, on there I'm like oh yeah eric show me your hideout and i'll stab you in the face <laughs> well wes what you need to do is have a posse of folk you do trust lie in an ambush when you first meet these folks well no that's just it like what it would happen is like about 10 of us would leave spawn island together you know there'd be a herd of us you know yeah and i mean they're gonna die anyway because the other people are gonna kill them but it doesn't matter you know what i mean it just it's still so what you should do is just say yeah yeah, come join our place, and then you all kill him. Well, no, uh, we ended, we did end up uh, like after you Wait. logged off, we kind of found somebody else's base, you know, and just yeah. started like working with it, you know. Oh, okay. Because like the sun would go down, and we'd be out in the middle of nowhere, except next to this little hole in the ground. So we'd jump in, and you know, start working on digging down to the bedrock and all that kind of stuff. So but you I, just took over, like squatting. Yeah, and uh. I found somebody's obsidian farm, and you know, started doing. It. And I mean, it was kind of cool, but yeah. then like all of a sudden, random people would just kind of show up and like kill us all oh. and it was one of these things where it's like wait we're down by the bedrock how did you know we're here maybe yeah. that was their base yeah that could have right. been a honeypot uh, too they could have set it up as a honeypot I don't but it, oh, but the entrance wasn't like like I, I, yes and no if it had glowstone all over it you'd it know didn't. not to go there yes is my point like that's how you make a good honeypot you just have a hole in the middle of nowhere there's enough folk on that server they're gonna wander in and jump down uh, yeah, I don't know I, I'm, I, I question whether that's the case but regardless the, uh, my other thing is I think that maybe um, somebody was using some texture stuff you know Ooh, um, so when, when me and Easy were playing she was pretty set on uh, the fact that people were doing that she said she had a couple of chests that that were clearly hidden and people went straight to it they dug straight down to the hidden chest and saw yeah. all the stuff yeah and so like how could you be that accurate so yeah. um, well let me ask you this playing with easy some does she pull out some special commands that notch gave just her <laughs> huh? anything you can't tell us about come uh, on i don't know she's, come on she's, tell she's, us she's not even telling me that dude, kind of stuff dude don't hold out on a bra. <laughs> yeah, a bra. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I don't know. I, I guess that was it. Um, uh, of course, we went to play on Con and had a blast, and we uh, we did a, a couple of live streams from our hotel room. And Only a couple. pretty sorry. silly. Yeah, they um, got to see me sleep. <laughs> they were very upset about that We left that it one. on overnight by accident, so it's like... Well, no, it was an accident. Look, okay, so I hope the guy's not listening because I work with him. He, and you might know him, Dave. Yeah. Okay, (laughs) so this guy guy. comes down that that I work with, and just at work, he's notoriously the guy that you don't want to talk to. Yeah. He's the big douchebag. Yeah. And so he (laughs) showed up, and I'm up there drinking at a party, and I'm like, oh, my God, why is Dave here? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, because he's into all this. Yeah. And uh, he's like, oh, yeah, dude, coming down for the night, and, man, I'm going to have to sleep in my car because I don't know how you want to sleep. So I'm like, we've got room on the floor. (laughs) 
<laughs> and I'm like, God, like as soon as it's coming out of my mouth, I'm like, why couldn't I have said, you know, my roommate's a real douchebag. You probably don't want to. <laughs> but it was like, you know, it was, you know, we got room, but we'll probably be streaming late and blah, blah. He was like, oh, that's fine. The floor, that's awesome. Blah, blah, blah. So we went down there and, and I was just like, well, maybe if I go to sleep, I don't have to talk to him anymore. But I knew the stream was on and he was doing his Dave stuff. Sorry, yeah. Dave. If you're listening, dude, you hate me. That's fine. <laughs> but he has stories. He really? tells a lot of stories and constantly. And I was like, this would be fun for the chat room to hear. So I just left the stream on while he was telling his stories. Oh, God. And then I was just like, I'm going to sleep because I can't handle the stories anymore. And apparently they got to listen to me sleep for a while. Yeah, I got tweets. Nice. I got tweets that were like, "Hey, uh, Eric, go check on on uh, Brent. He's making weird noises." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, he's just snoring. He always makes weird noises when he's sleeping." Well, then you lock Dave out. <laughs> like Eric comes in because Dave went out and took my key and went out. Yeah. Uh, so plan worked, and then Eric came in and, and like latched the door, and so at like three or four in the morning, and I get wake up by a knock, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun fun evening that yeah was. it was it was nuts um but i guess that the minecraft related stuff from the convention uh what i mean that there wasn't a whole lot really yeah. but uh, we had a plan um, for some yeah cat uh cat dixon who's a girlfriend of uh Wot, um a uh the the crew from nashville which is mm-hmm. joe hill is one of those um crew members um they uh they got up on the stage uh, during the uh, rock band competition and did a Minecraft parody song where Kat, um, she's, she, she made these uh, custom things. Like she has this uh, creeper hair clip kind of thing. It's called a fascinator. Is that what it's called? Yes. Fascinator? Uh, it, and, and it was then, really awesome. And then she made a uh, uh, like a handbag, like a purse, I guess. Um, it, TNT block from yeah, a TNT block uh, sewed it and everything. And she put a sulfur change purse in it. Yeah, that was a really cool little touch. Yeah. And of course, she had a green dress on, like a creeper that she had made herself, like choosing the texture because it was close to the creeper texture. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, That's... she found that fabric and made the dress. Oh, okay. Uh, extremely cool. She was really kind of representing Minecraft. I mean, uh, you know, she gets up on the stage and she's singing all this, you know, Minecraft She did stuff Ronnie and James like, Dio, <laughs> Rainbow in the Dark, and changed it to Creeper in the Dark. Yeah. And it was. And, and she really rocked. Good. I yeah. mean, she has a really good voice, too. Yeah. What, was it? what was the name she's of the band? She's actually a music major. She, uh, oh, is she? Yeah, she was uh, Caddy and the Steves. Yeah, and the, the Steves. other three guys were all dressed up in teal shirts and khaki yep. pants. And they were yeah. all Steves. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, she introduced so. the band. Our drummer, Steve. <laughs> our guitarist, Steve. <laughs> and our very talented, handsome bassist, Steve. That was the one she's dating. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it was it was really cool actually to look around the room and see people laughing because you could see who plays Minecraft and who doesn't. Because yeah. a lot of people were like, "What? What is? What? What? What is happening?" Yes. You know? Do they even have a line in there about the uh, podcast? No. Or she said something about the podcast. Was she pimping out us I, during I, the I show? <laughs> during I think the she song? pimped out the show because I remember them saying that she got to pimp it out. Oh, I don't know. I didn't hear it, so I you know I did my oh that's awesome. Like I didn't hear it. Sorry. Oh yeah. But I'm sure it was awesome. I'm sure it was. I recorded the whole thing. I can play it back. I think it's on the internet already. It is. Oh, internet. Well, that sounds like something for the show notes. Yeah. <laughs> it was on yeah. the internet. Right. We uh, found it somewhere on the internet. And uh, and lastly here, uh, I had a, a good time on the old Minecraft server. Is the old, is the old map back up yet? It's finally back up. Awesome, <laughs> the the old map with uh, with the Rainbow Cove is it the name of it? Esther Golly, who's I think it is. in the chat room right yeah, it's now. Rainbow Cove, um, Rainbow Cove, and uh, uh, Bit Burners in the chat room as well. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, excellent. I like that it's back up, and you know the chaos server's down. So maybe we need to we need another PvP server or something. I don't know. We need something. All right, I'm done. Anybody else have an exciting week? Um, yes. Uh, I have been uh, doing some POC stuff, of course, because I had to get ready for the convention, and then, of course, I had to throw the convention. But in addition to that, uh, I did log on for the, to the server for a little while, and I, I checked out two things. Number one, I went to the, um, oh, man, the southern, I forgot what it's called. Uh, but there's this place way, way far to the south. If you ride the train tracks on the shaft lands, all and somebody's oh. building a pyro, like a big, like pyro? a big pyro. Oh wow! Statue, crazy, and it looks 
Awesome. Yeah, so it's good. It, it's not just like Square Man with like pyro skin? No, oh, no. Okay. It's like fleshed out, looks like pyro. Dang. Oh, wow. Yeah, Dang. and it's cool. And he's shooting it out. flame or is he using the No, flame? it's just kind of... St- it doesn't have any arms yet. It's just... If they're going to have arms, I don't know. They might be working on that too, but it's just shoulders, torso, belly, head, you know, all the way down to the legs, standing in the water. It's awesome. Uh, so yeah, mm. I recommend checking that out. Additionally, um, I I went and checked out. I, I, are you familiar with what's going on with the underspawn competition? Yeah, yeah we actually oh. have a, a piece about it here. Uh, um, Madison and some. Uh, so I went. I went and visited the area where the underspawn competition was going was taking place, and it's kind of creepy. Like like basically, what they did was they copied spawn like you know 40 times and it's just these plots of spawn and so i didn't i was just looking through the warps and i'm like what's that warp you know and i go to it and i'm like what is this and i just start walking right and i'm walking by spawn after spawn on this huge flat plane and i'm like am i in some kind of loop (laughs) (laughs) that would be freaky not not to jump in on your stuff but let me let me read this email from Maz while we're here yeah uh it says hello hello," and it's kind of long so bear with me but it's uh hello gentlemen hope con is going well i want to pass on a bit of shaftland news for the shaft toaster jelly and i are running a build contest we're letting the users design the area underground from the spawn in the new world the double rainbow map The build should be something that will promote more activity in the spawn area, some kind of social build, like a spleef arena, public tree farm, or a dance club. And if there's 40 of each of those, uh, that's not the way to go. Think of something besides those things. Mm -hmm. Uh, It could be anything, and there's a big list of in-game prizes. Jelly created a new separate world so we can dupe items and let people go design crazy. People have been doing some amazing things uh, done so far, currently at about 20 participants uh, with room for more. It's been quiet on the server while everyone waits for the uh, stable 1.7 release, so this has been a great activity boost. The deadline is August 15th, so you have about another week. Uh, And people should check out the forum uh, for more info. We'll put that in the show notes. So, oh. but I, I go to this place and it's like, have you ever seen the show The Prisoner? You know, where like the village is all creepy and stuff because it's so perfect. You oh, know? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, this place is creepy. It's first off, there was nobody there. It was a ghost town, and I felt I wasn't sure I wasn't walking in a loop. And so, like, I put down a block and started walking to see if I would come back on it. If I would, <laughs> I was like, did somebody create a circular world that here? That's weird. Were you looking around for like a Punxsutawney Phil? I was, yes. But, uh, uh, don't drive angry. But I ended up, like, finally, I, I, st- I did that. I put down the block, and then I walked, and then just on the edge of the horizon, I saw some signs. And I and so I started walking towards them, and a lot of the admins. But, and then I saw this giant adminium tower and a bunch of other foolishness. So I was like, okay, okay, this is in the loop. But it's really weird, and I recommend everyone go check it out uh, on the Shaft Lands. Very entertaining. Bravo. That's cool. Wow. Bravo. And and really like creepy. you can go to spawn from spawn to spawn their plots and they'll have signs on them with the name of the person who's working on it and you can check out what they built underneath, you know? Oh it's yeah. Cool. Wow, super neat. So yeah. There you go. And this Excellent. would be the part where we say, "Hey Joe, how was your week?" Pretty good. Mm-hmm. So uh, mostly the Minecraft I've been playing has been for my video series because when you put out two or three videos a day, you just got to play a lot of Minecraft. No doubt. And uh, I've been playing uh, what's called Super Hostile Legendary, uh-huh. uh, which is a uh, Super Hostile's a map series of very beautiful, handmade, MC-edited maps that have uh, essentially a trophy case where there's like 18 slots for different colors of wool, and then there's different areas of the map with dungeons and stuff, and you have to essentially get to the end of the dungeon and get wool out of a chest and then bring it back to your trophy case. And uh, okay. he's got so about nine of these. Oh, sorry. So does something happen when you fill up the trophy case? Like it opens up a new dungeon? N- no, you just win. But honestly, uh, getting to that point is pretty dang difficult. Um, I've done 105 videos, and I've only got 15 of the 18 slots filled. Whoa. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, Jeez. it's it's a real... Uh, I'm playing... He's got various difficulties for these maps. Some of them are easy, like vacation maps, he calls them, for people who are about to kill themselves after playing his other maps. Then he's got ones that are ROM hack hard which means like anything that looks like it isn't a trap probably is <laughs> and anything that looks like a trap certainly is like i, I was uh, at one point 
I uh, had picked up a glitched item and I realized it was glitched so I decided okay I'll have a little memorial service and bury it so I go to bury it and I realize oh no I've thrown all the dirt uh, from digging this pit all of it's at the bottom of the pit so I run to like three feet to the left to dig up more dirt to cover up the glitched <laughs> item and immediately this huge chain reaction goes off where all this stuff around me falls into lava luckily wow. not where I was standing and I'm just like this wasn't even an exploring part this was just supposed to be like a 10 second aside like farewell glitched armor you served me well <laughs> yeah. um, that's awesome but, like there's stuff where he's like got furnaces hooked up to these elaborate sand fall traps and so, you know, uh, in Legendary, you don't get any cobblestone forever. And so there's one furnace that he's got at one point in the map, and you're just like, oh, thank God, finally a furnace. I've been carrying all this stuff around that I want to smelt. And you hear the, uh, you hear the click of the pressure plate because the sand behind the furnace falls, hits the pressure plate, and then you hear uh, the hiss of the dynamite. And I'm just run, like running up this ladder. <laughs> and like you can't feel the heat of the flames behind you, but the frame rate is dropping <laughs> because of all the TNT that's going off all around me. And so like psychologically, it's the same thing. And I, I managed to get to the surface. And I go back down there. And what was this like nice little room with a furnace and a chest? Is now just this massive cavern. <laughs> And in some places, the floor's blown out, and instead of bedrock, there is just a void. So if you were really unlucky, even if you survived the blast, you might get knocked into the void. <laughs> wow, and, that's cool. Sam. Like, And, uh, you know, the map will have, like, a whole bunch of different dungeons. Each dungeon usually has a different theme or a different catch or hook. And uh, even though he's been making a lot of these maps, he's very clever, and uh, I've really enjoyed messing around in them uh, so far. And I plan to continue when I finish this map. I'm probably going to do whatever the next one he puts out is because I always like to be ahead of the curve you know so, yeah. so you think you'll finish all of them out how many more videos do oh, you think it'll take no I'm probably okay I'm probably not going to do uh, all of them on camera like the maps he's already got published yeah a whole bunch of other folks have already made videos of yeah I saw I, that, I watched Good doing one but I just mean for the 18 blocks you've done oh. 15 yeah I got 15 um, and you got 3 uh, more to go yeah I mean it might be the problem is a lot of the, the trophies that I got left are in the hardest dungeons oh, okay. uh, one of them is a giant taco in the nether where <laughs> the it's like a it's like a, a, a hard taco it's hard because the shell is stone you're making me and, hungry yeah it's yeah, kind of delicious and then he uses nether rock for the death, meat. Death can be delicious. <laughs> and he uses uh, lava for the hot sauce, and then spawners <laughs> for the herbs and spices. And there's just <laughs> spawners all throughout this thing. There's gas spawners, and like I haven't even gotten to that one yet. It's gonna drive me mad. Um, but you know, honestly, it might be five to fifteen more videos. It's really hard to tell until I get into an area how <laughs> horrible it is. Cause like. That taco I just described already sounds pretty bad. Yeah. And, like, the thing is massive. It is probably, like, I don't know, uh, 90 blocks high and, she, I don't know, uh, <laughs> maybe 600 blocks long. It's, it's, it's this giant taco. So, so who makes this? Weird. Uh, this the fella, he, his name is Vetches, uh, spelled Vetches. Victor v Echo Charlie Hotel Sierra. Like Mex. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, indeed. So, is have you talked to him like personally and talked to him about and let him know what you're doing? Uh, well, I posted uh, his, his forum. Uh, he's got a, a thread on the Minecraft forum that usually has at least sixty active viewers, which is ludicrous for a thread on a forum to always have around sixty people looking at it. Yeah, and usually oh, yeah. at least ten of them are talking. So I just started posting my videos in there because I figured, oh, these are the folks that want to see my videos. So then he starts commenting on them. Because I was actually the first person to uh, make videos about that ser about Legendary. Like, I had my first video out, I think, maybe two hours after the map went live. Right. And he loves watching the videos of people so he can figure out how to make better traps and see what works and what doesn't. <laughs> and oh, yeah. So uh, he starts commenting on my videos, and he's actually included me in his first post on the forum uh, saying, let's see, uh, I got a quote here about my Let's Play. Uh, An entertaining and amusing Let's Play is what he says <laughs> um but you know and then his actual comments on the individual videos will be like oh whoa what you're doing wasn't intent what, or what's happening to you right now wasn't intentionally a trap but next time i'm gonna make it one this is a great way to start a map that sort of thing uh 
you know, another thing he's, uh, at one point I had a redstone video where, uh, I, I essentially realized, okay, I need to enclose my rail line in the nether because it's like two or three kilometers long. And one of the nice things about these maps is, he, although they're huge, he provides like, uh, he, he'll just give you a chest full of rails and redstone torches and redstone, uh, you know, uh, booster rails. So that way you can get between the areas pretty quickly. Once you discover a new area, you'll usually find a shaft that if you, uh, walk down it all the way and then dig for like 30 blocks, you'll run into it, so an area you've already been to. So that way, uh, you get fast travel. Um, right. So anyway, I needed a bunch of cobblestone, so I started making a redstone video about how to make a cobblestone generator that oscillates. And if you've never made a redstone video before, you probably shouldn't, because like redstone is so different from narrative video <laughs> and so it's just me like like and i built this thing right next to my farm so my farm is getting bulldozed by the cobblestone i'm trying to mine <laughs> and um uh, so about that one that just commented uh oh god thank you so much joe my eyes watered a bit i was laughing so hard <laughs> um but yeah so um but yeah he's a uh, been doing these maps and he actually accepts commissions from folks like if you uh let's say that you had an idea for a map that you wanted like to be your spawn area or whatnot for your multiplayer thing oh really? you know you could pay him to design that for you or that sort of thing oh, oh that's um, wild but like the quality is very impressive and very professional and that was one of the reasons i chose his maps for this series because i i'd seen his other work and i wanted something where as i was going through and experiencing new vistas and new horizons i wanted them to actually be impressive because that makes right. me more inspired to talk better and, and more prettily. <laughs> and it yeah. also makes the viewers excited to see, like, oh, what is around the next corner? You know? Yeah. And uh, so the cliffhanger is, uh, honestly, the, the uh, people want to know what's next because his quality is so good. You know, it's not just right. me talking that they like. Sweet. So, you know, we've all been wanting to start uh, kind of a, a Let's Play or something, but we, we want to play... Uh, adventure map so is this something that maybe we should do i mean oh it yeah it totally. to be a multiplayer though because i mean there's three of us so we need we'd like to do three or, or maybe even get two two more friends along maybe do a five or something but yeah he's got them designed so that the uh spawn area for multiplayer you can uh you can always get to the right place because that's the biggest problem with a lot of these maps is spawn on multiplayer works mm -hmm. different from spawn on single player oh, and right. map makers don't factor that in that's one thing that he's been doing um he actually just rebalanced uh one of his maps sunburn island which is a vacation easy map uh, to have additional items and chests and whatnot for multiplayer. That sounds like something we should start mm. off with, that a vacation map. <laughs> <laughs> for wusses, hey, right? Yeah. yeah, we don't play the hard ones first and then need a vacation. We start with a vacation and then probably move on to another vacation. <laughs> right. I like it. Or the, as like the Brits the call it, uh, holiday, holiday maps. And if you're looking for a book on vacations, you should tune in to Audible. Hey! Did I start that right? Yeah. Sort Sounds of, good to I me. I don't really know if they actually have books on vacations, but if they do, you could probably find them under V. <laughs> Is that yeah. helpful? Sounds pretty I'm good. I'm going to say me. yes. So when you're going on your vacation, you should go look for that book. It's at audibletrial.com slash the shaft. Get you a free book on us. We're paying for the first one. Yeah. I yes. don't know how we did that, but we did it. So go there, get your first book on us, and then stay and get, uh, you know, new books every month for fourteen ninety five. I got a friend who showed me his uh, brother's list. He's got, like, over 600 books. He's been in the club when they had different rules, and they he was kind of grandfathered in. Yeah. They couldn't make him stop his contract. Oh. And so he's been getting, like, four books a month or something nice. for, like, the basic price. Uh. Anyway. He's got a good deal. You can get a good deal right now. Go get it. Right now. Rob, we're going to wait. I'm going to wait till every single one of you gets yep. it. Yeah. We'll wait right here. And if you don't... It's a good stop. We will, no, you're just sitting there. We, why, why are you just sitting We there? will come for you. No. AudibleTrial.com. So creepy. I'm talking to you. The Shaft. AudibleTrial.com slash The Shaft. No, no. I, you, I know you have a credit card. You can do this. <laughs> just, it's not Audible Trail. Audible Trial. Trail. Some people just can't spell. Yeah, yeah. take the I and the No, a you don't have to put in the www. www. But you can. You can. So, 
Wow. So do you like to listen to Excellent. books on audio, Joe? Uh, yeah, I drive a lot to go to conventions for my comic business. So, like, for example, uh, when I went up to uh, PAX East in Boston, uh, I went ahead and I got, uh, what was it, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, so, uh, nice. which is a good one, and Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you drove up there? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I drove to Baltimore, and then me and Mentoc 1982 drove the rest of the way up to Boston. Oh, okay. yeah. How long was that time. drive? Uh, I don't know. I think it was maybe about eight to ten hours to Baltimore, and then another eight or so up to Boston. Yowzers. Honestly, I tend not to re- remember the drives much. Uh, it's usually, I look back on all the good memories of hanging out with folks and right. having fun. Exactly. Yowzers. That's a long drive. Uh, well, and then... And no, I didn't mention a book about turkey basters, funny man. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> and Sorry. And if turkey basting is your thing, that's cool. If not, if you're more into maybe, like, news and updates and uh, things like that, then you're going to love Hit this it. segment. From the Minecraft Daily, news and updates. Big news! Big news! It's finally been announced. The old MineCon. MineCon. MineCon will take in place. In Vegas. On dun, 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 dun. It will be here. It will be here in uh, November 18th and 19th. That's a weekend. At the Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas. And it will actually it will coincide with the launch of uh, Minecraft's full release. Yep. So it's uh it's gonna be awesome. I've been to Vegas once. I love it. I can't wait to go back. Uh, I um, Mandalay Bay is a nice so hotel cool. too. It, it's, and it's of course it's we a good place. we love conventions too. We get, we go to a convention like every month. In fact, my next one, um, Dragon Con, is less than a month away. And then after that, if we go to PAX, um, but if not Mine Con, I mean it's just like it, it's gonna end. Um, it's gonna end the whole Minecraft or the whole convention circuit with a bang because this this is the one to go to so and i'm pretty sure they're going to sell out of tickets pretty quick there's not a lot of details about you know buying tickets but yeah. you probably want to get on that and you know that's what i'm worried about yeah but selling out of tickets before we can grab them because it, it's like blizzcon blizzcon will sell <laughs> out um you know in, in under an hour in, no in, in like under 15 minutes, minutes. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know they, they say okay it's for sale and then boom so you can't think about it Make it make up your mind right now if you're gonna go, so that way you can just snipe the tickets online and get ready for it. So, and I hope uh, everybody who wants to go can go because um, we'll be there and it'll just it'll be it'll be a fun time. Unless somehow you know, we, we don't be, get tickets, we I don't maybe know. out out front like looking in, going, please let us in. Yeah, please. I hope uh, I really hope that doesn't happen. But hey, if it does, we'll still go to Vegas, right? We'll be yeah. hanging out in Vegas. We'll be, yep. you know. So we'll be next door at the Luxor partying it up. Yeah. yeah or, <laughs> you know, playing a little bit of right hand or left hand or, you know, what number am I thinking one through yeah. ten? Yeah. That sounds like we'll a We'll be riding game. on the tram that goes between uh, those hotels. We'll be hanging out on the train with harmonicas and guitars, playing songs for change. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know, after Dragon Con, uh, you know, it's PAX, but after PAX is... DWP Con, DWP Party. Yep, it's the Dead Workers right. Party Party. That is another. It's not. I wouldn't say it's a convention, uh, but it's you it's know a it's, party. It's a, it's a big party. It's a big meetup. Gaming. Yeah, it's gaming. It'll be at our studio. Uh, we have actually. What was the website for that, Brent? Uh, DWP Party. Dot blogspot. Dot com. So, uh, so there you go. If you want to come hang out with us, and uh, that w- that would be. The thing to do. Shake it up. And I, Huntsville. I've been to all the control point cons, or at least most of them that y'all have held in Huntsville, and they are always a blast. I'm certainly going to attend this one, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I remember, you know, you know, it's just little things like playing Left 4 Dead and being able to yell at the people in the room with you. Or, <laughs> yeah, totally. You know, uh, Wes has some sort of game with the Politburo from Russia where you, like... <laughs> Put yep. people in to try and become the head of state. It's bizarre, but you know, weird things happen. It's <laughs> yeah. fun. Yeah, and this year we got a crazy uh, band playing Friday night. It'll be free. Oh yeah, and if you're into turkey basting, uh, Brent can show you a few pointers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, make you a wonderful omelet. <laughs> 
So uh, yeah, go to the website. You can see uh, Joe Hills actually. He's on the picture on the front front of the uh, page. That's yep. right. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, enough about that. What about the no? New- There's never enough about that. Where do you I think just want to mention one mob? thing. You know, people okay. say, "Oh, it's too far to drive. I can't make that." Uh, let me just say, I know that Mr. Eagle and Moot are going to be coming this time. From They're Canada? They're from Canada. Yeah. yeah. Okay, like, what's further than Canada, right? Like, nothing. Nothing. Like, nothing. Canada's I mean, there's the farthest thing away from everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no matter where you are in Canada, it's further than everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, a fact, too. If they're coming, then you should be coming, and you know the dates. It's October 7th through the 9th. It'll be fun. Uh, I hear some famous people are going to be there. Here's hoping. No, I know they're going to be there. Oh, cool. I just can't give the names yet. Like, Sweet. Like two two pack Shaker. Yeah, definitely two pack <laughs> Shaker. <laughs> and weird... Brent Notch. Tovich. Okay, Notch is going to be there. Really? Yeah. Sweet! Yes. Rebecca Black is going to be there, too. Can I get in nice. trouble for actually saying that? <laughs> yeah, I think you can get in trouble for actually saying that. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay, everybody from Bethesda is going to be there. <laughs> they don't like to sue, do they? All their lawyers? Sweet. <laughs> oh, good. All right. Um. That's Bethesda, Maryland? <laughs> yeah, everybody. All the people from the town of Bethesda will be there. Yes. Their chamber of commerce just goes right after y'all. Well, let's go ahead and talk about Bethesda. Bethesda is in the news, of course, and they're they are suing Mojang right now for the use of the scrolls name. Scrolls. They, I wonder they if we have to change our podcast. They they think it is confusing, and they they have a trademark on the Elder Scrolls. Although it's kind of the joke is it's like I mean it's just one word. It's like can you trademark a letter within a word within a phrase? Like, it's, I mean they've gone a little too far. Yeah. Um. And uh, of course, this is you know not Notch tweeted this, and now it's all over the place. All the news news sites are, are reporting about it. Uh, he's got like this fifteen Notch has this fifteen page uh, thing from their lawyers saying you know step off. You know, we and, want and this name. And he talks about it more too on the the Tumblr. His Tumblr Notch dot Tumblr. Right, yeah. the word of Notch. Uh, um, but it's you know what, what do y'all think about this? I mean, y'all think it's just uh, lawyers being lawyers, or do you think the company's actually? Well, there, there is, there is something to be said. If you do not defend your properties, you lose them. So even if they didn't want, if, even if they didn't care about it, they have to make the token effort to defend it in order to protect it from other people who might infringe upon it even more. Right. But yeah. going after scrolls, well, the I, word scrolls. Wes is right. It, it's literally these lawyers' job that if they do not go after everyone and their mother they will potentially lose the trademark. And yeah. so, oh, you know, it, it might seem silly to all of us, and it might seem silly to them, but something that wasn't so silly could come along down the line, and if they haven't protected their trademark already, they could be screwed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I think I, it's I, just silly for scrolls, though. I mean, I, I mean, honestly, this has changed my opinion of the game. I'm not going to get Elder Scrolls now. Well, I'm not either. Protest. But it was kind of sure. one of the games that I was like, you know, they had all that crap at E3 that yeah. uh, I thought it looked good. I, I haven't seen that much uh, footage of though. You Skyrim. were saying it looks like crap. <laughs> Are you just no, saying that? I, I don't think it looks like crap. My, I see. I don't really have much of an opinion about Bethesda. I can go, I can go either way very fast, and this has kind of made me go in the negative way right. very fast because I've never been a fan of Bethesda. Well, I've never played Bethesda games. I don't really, I don't really well, like their games. I'm so. easily swayed by marketing. So yeah. they had huge skyscrapers with the freaking ads on it. I was like, that's got to be an awesome game, right? It doesn't matter what it actually is. <laughs> so, you uh, thought I that really about World playing. of Tanks. Uh, they had a pretty big budget that at E3, true. didn't they? <laughs> and I'm still using their mouse pad even though their game is World of Tanked. <laughs> what? World of Taint. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's uh, of of course Bethesda is not a bad company. Of course they make good games. They've been around since the eighties, right? Yeah. Or early nineties. They've been around for a long time. They they, well, they, they, put, do out, good they put out a lot of bad games. It's, it's not. It's just they're big and they have you know their their legal team is is out of control. Yeah. You know. Well, the way I see it is. Like I said, they got to def- defend their trademark, but they should have named their game more innovatively in the first place. Yeah. Instead of using real words like Elder and Scrolls, they should have called it the 
Alder Scroils. Or replace the word <laughs> the with something that ain't real either. Like Tuh. Z Alder or Ta Alder Scroils. <laughs> and so that way we don't gotta worry about none of this. Yeah, right. So it's their lack of innovation that has gotten us into this mess. I see where you're going. Yeah. So okay, Elder Scrolls is is it completely a new game? Like No, it is it is the fifth It's the fifth, it's right? It's the sixth sixth one, right? But it's always been the Elder Scrolls something. Yes. Yes. So shouldn't their copyright just include the Elder Scrolls? And then the somethings like okay, so like in music, like when you copyright crap, you like do your whole album. You don't really yeah. do it song by song because it would just cost too much and take too much time. Yeah. So it seems like I don't know, it just seems like a, a game would do the same, that you would just whatever your body of work is, you would copyright that entity and then someone came along and said Here's my new game, Elder Scrolls. You'd be like, okay, you're kind of violating my copyright here. Yeah. But if yeah. someone comes along with, you know, the Elder, maybe Kiss should step into this arena and say, you know, if y'all are picking up letters, you know, we had the Elder long ago, and it was yeah. an awesome album. <laughs> For yeah. you, you haters out yeah, there who the don't elder. like Kiss, I remember that. I album. actually saw someone who replied to Notch who said, "I called my local game store and I asked them when the new Elder Scrolls game was coming out, and they didn't know what." I was talking about. It wasn't until I said Skyrim that they knew what I was talking about. And that makes mm. sense. That's a yeah. real world example, yeah. you know. Well, and who in the world gets them confused? Like to me, that's the reason for the trademark or the copyright or whatever is. Yeah. You don't want to get something out there that someone else is going to hear the name and think that's something else. Yeah. Yeah. Who is going to hear scrolls and think you're talking about that? Well, I, I do think this is a lawyer song and dance. Uh, I think if if Notch had not been who he was, if he had been a bigger company and the lawyers had gotten all the stuff first, we probably wouldn't have heard about it. This would have been swept under the under. The, but you know, because he thought it was funny, he talked about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, but I I think this is lawyer song and dance. I don't think this has any real impact on anything. I think they've just got to go through certain motions to appear to defend their copyright. I don't think that Bethesda really has any plans on shutting down scrolls. They just have to say, you need to cease and desist for us to at least attempt to look like we're defending our copyright. Yeah. I think they're just trying to get money. I think they see a small company and they think they can muscle in and take some money from them. And they, they probably, this you know, this happens all the time. We see this with Apple and and all the other companies, phone companies. They sit there and they throw lawsuits at each other and they get money to stop them and blah, 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 blah. And I think that's all it is. I think they just want money. Yeah. And so they're trying to get money from them. And I think this is going to backfire on them. I think there's going to be people like me who say, screw you. And I'm yeah. not going to play your game. And they thought that it would never get out because they've probably done this to other companies. Yeah. And they were big enough companies that said, fine, here's fifty thousand dollars and we'll change our name yeah you know whatever yeah and we haven't really seen uh comments and things on bethesda's side so we're still kind of waiting on that really all we know is what we've 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 heard from uh, notch and carl uh of mojang so um they, they did uh, promise one thing to bethesda and they said that they wouldn't put any words preceding the word scroll in their titles so if you have the Elder Scrolls and then another game called, say, I don't know, the Parmesan Scrolls, then it's like, well, are they the same thing? Well, Mojang promised that they would put words after Scrolls, so it would be Scrolls, the Parmesan Wars or right. something, right? Scrolls, the Elder Scrolls. I think that's what they should do. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, it, it sounds it sounds good to me, but, you know, well, well, we don't know. So Well, they could also just make a straight-up parody of the Elder Sc Scrolls called The Babyest Scrolls. <laughs> and as long as it's an actual parody of the Elder Scrolls, they're covered. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Right. So, uh, Scrolls, the Skyrim edition. Nice, nice. The Scrum. rim of the sky. Uh, anyway, so let's move on here. Uh, okay, so this is great. Uh, Notch posted a, uh, a screenshot of a new mob, and then later on he talks about it in his blog, and it, uh, the name of it is Enderman. Enderman! Yes. It's a black textureless being with glowing eyes and real skinny that appendages picks up and moves blocks yeah it, it moves things and, and when you when you look at it when you target it with your little target thing it will stand still and then when you when you're not looking at it anymore it will go towards you very fast and yes creep you out uh it's 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 like the uh, you know it's like the weeping angel and doctor who right yeah uh it's 
he I, I think what happened right before we got this new mob uh, Je, uh, Jens was talking about um, working on a new mob way back in E3 and uh, they just didn't want to talk about it and then between then and now there was another piece of information where uh, Notch said he was playing a uh, a Zelda game and got big inspiration for a new mob and uh so and I forget which Zelda game it was. It was like a, a DS or you know it was it was one of the portable ones. And uh, so I I uh, looked through a, a Wikipedia and I was trying to look at all the different mobs from the game to kind of get an idea. But there's too many. So this might be you know a couple of different places that might have inspired this this extra creepy mob. Well, I, and I wonder the, the screenshot if you're looking at it. There's a ton. I mean, there's like four or five that you can see. I wonder if that's going to be you know how many are out there or if that was just for testing they wanted a bunch around well, I figured that uh, he, I think I think he was promoting them as like groups of things right I don't see I was thinking what well, you thought Brent like just for testing he put a bunch out there well also did you notice what else is in that screenshot what what he's standing under it's a big mushroom oh the did giant mushroom again I, I think that's what it is I mean it looks like it's a little off oh, from the yes. sand, but it I looks know, like a I know mushroom what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there is a big So maybe they're there. going to be around the mushrooms? Maybe they... Like, that would make sense to me if they grouped up around mushrooms or something. And yeah. it's weird, like, I mean, so they're moving blocks around. I mean, they're... It's kind of griefing, right? I mean, they're, they're moving... You're going to enjoy <laughs> single player finally, Wes. Maybe they'll fill in holes. You never or, know. Or maybe maybe they'll, they'll grief your world and you'll have to go maybe fix Maybe they're going to fix what the creepers do. I doubt it. But see, grief, I mean, I don't know. I mean, of course, the creeper is a griefer as well. I mean, it makes a it makes a crater. These guys just kind of move one onesie twosies. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to welcome these guys. I think they're awesome looking and totally creepy. I I think they belong in the game. I think this is going to be good. Yep, I do too. There's also a fake video that got put out. Notch had to say, this video is not real. Yes, and well, I got that in sightings. That was actually a really good video. I like that one. It's extra cool. Uh, all right, well, the next one here is the Humble Indie Bundle. Yeah, yeah. I got um, it, but I haven't played anything from it yet. So this comes out every year. It's basically pay what you want for six awesome games. Well, it starts off with they, they have X number of games, and then as yeah. the donations get higher, they get more games into the bundle. Right. And Humble Bundle 3 has gotten huge. It's very, very popular, and now it has all the games from Humble Bundle 2 in it as well. Oh, wow. And this is nice. Uh, there is a Humble Bonus and this is why we're mentioning this on this show. Everyone who buys a bundle gets to play Minecraft for free until August 14th. So, you know, if you're listening to this show, you probably already have it. Although, I do know that we have some listeners that don't play the game. Yeah. So here's a way to get in. Yeah. And anything else, yeah? They've sold, uh, just so you know, they've sold 309,000 of them so far. Wow. Minecraft sold 3 million copies. That's right. That happened this week. Yep. Yeah. Congrats. Woo! Yeah. 3, 3 million. million copies. That's awesome. Good job. Now, is that uh, a lot of people buying multiple copies? Probably. I mean, I know, I know a lot of people who do buy multiple copies. Yeah, but still, even so, 3 million copies. That's Woo! excellent. That's excellent. Ah, yay. Should I play it again? Yeah. Yay! So when is it going to stop? Is it going to keep going like 10 million, 20 million? I mean, is it going to rule the world? Well, you know, if there's like, what, uh, nine going on 10 million people who uh, play Warcraft? are registered Yeah. for Minecraft, how many of those people are going to actually buy it? Right? Like, why did oh, they yeah. register just to play like the free? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. You know, so, I mean, that's kind of this market pushing to those people who already shown little interest and he can say hey come back and look at see what we've changed and maybe you'll like it or actually buy yeah uh speaking of uh what's coming up soon uh there was a tweet by notch to a sloan reynolds uh which was mysteriously just said already implemented in 1.8 what do you think it was uh magic you think magic eric uh dragons dragons joe 
You know, I, I was going to actually load up Sloan Reynolds on Twitter and see if he uh, <laughs> had actually said anything. That's cheating. Okay, well, then I'm not going to do that. Well, I'm going to say um, Borders. You're probably the closest out of all these people. Uh, it's a brightness slider. Oh. So we'll uh, get a slider. I don't know how a bookstore is much closer, but... <laughs> borders. Oh, I thought you said... Yeah, I thought you meant, like, some kind of borders in... Anyway. It's yeah. the accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually so, the same word. Yeah. So a brightness slider. Okay. That'll be great for doing the Let's Play videos. Because, yeah. like, right now, when I get into a very... Like, if I'm pushing into a new dungeon, and I get farther than I expected, and I've already run out of torches and all that... Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll be able to kind of squint at the screen and see and move forward, yeah. not want to retreat all the way back to get more coal or whatnot. But um, what I have to do now is I have to go in in post production and mess with all the luminous sliders or whatnot right, and tint right. it green so people get the idea. And uh, you know that's just a pain. But it's like night vision. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I put a little thing up in the corner that says night vision. Tell a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Tell a friend. <laughs> Uh, so that's cool. All right. And uh, I guess that'll about do it. Oh, are we done with the show? We're done with everything. <laughs> There's so much more to go in this I show. Know. This show we is to, we need to, packed. Yeah. We might need to cut some of this stuff out. There well, there's go. some of this stuff we can't cut out. Okay. But let's go on to um, some LC. Some LC. Yeah. All right, let's do it. And let's, 902 uh, LC. Hey, and here's a bumper from Felix. I have no idea what it sounds like. Let's talk about your shots. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know, but I want to hear more of the original song. Wait, that so I guess I can't actually use that in the in the video. That's copyrighted. Is it? Music. Is it somebody's song? I mean, it assumes. I, I maybe mean, maybe it, Felix wrote it. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Does anybody in the chat room recognize that? Yeah. Does I that? wouldn't think that he wrote that just for listener contributions bumper. Yeah. Or anything. Yeah, but maybe it was he's rocking. in a band and he's like, "Oh, I'll use my own music." Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking. Send him an email and see because okay. you want more work to do. I know. Yeah. Uh, well, if, uh, if for some reason I did have to edit it out, welcome to Listener Contributions. Huh? Yeah? So, okay. Scott from Mich Michigan says, I am part of a small group looking to host a Minecraft server. In our experience, a 2 gig RAM server can barely support four concurrent players. But the server you have from Servercraft is listed as 3 gig RAM running up to 45 concurrent players. So my question after all this ramblings are, have you had 45 players on the server at one time? Have we? Mm, yeah, I think yes. we have, <laughs> yeah. but we have had much more than three gigs of RAM. How did it hold up? We have had much more than three gigs of RAM. It doesn't matter how it held up. And uh, Green eggs have you had any other smaller levels of service with actual real-world experience, not just suggested limit? That appears way out of line with our experience. No, your experience is absolutely correct. Uh, a lot of the servers will say you can get X amount of people on. Uh, you need to just try them out and see which one's actually giving you what you need for how many people yeah. are on. We, we were running 30 people with 8 gigs. And we were right. having, isn't that what we were doing? 30 people with 8 gigs? Did we have no? I think we had like I, th I think we only had like three or four gig, and then they stepped up to like five gig. I think we're at five gig now. Well, I think we got way more than that. Yeah, I think so. I'll look into it. Okay, maybe Toasted knows. Yeah, Toasted Jelly in the chat room. Tell us, give us all the answers about our server. So, but yeah, it's a it's a RAM hog, so you'll need a lot of it. Uh, I've heard a lot of people, well, not a lot, but I heard some people have moved to actually like RAM drives. That it's not even the RAM that's the um, the bad part; it's the uh, disk transactions. Yeah. So moving to like a RAM drive and speeding it up on that end will actually uh, help you out quite a bit. Moving a lot of the mod stuff to database transactions instead of hitting the drive as well will help you out. Um, but uh, yeah, it's the servers are 
that's uh I, I think there's a lot of people who got into the business of minecraft servers early and didn't realize how much of a pain it was going to be because we have seen so many servers go under yeah uh companies go under so Cause it takes a lot of work yeah. yeah, people getting thrown in jail and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Mine with a Y. <laughs> Yikes. So our next one is from Roger. He says, I'm lazy. I talk nonsense. I'm badly organized, and I enjoy making people miserable. Can I have a job working on your show? We already have Spencer if we need that. Yes. we, we uh, To be fair, uh, we're looking for people who are not lazy, who talk very seriously, who are very organized, and do not enjoy making people miserable because we've already got all four of those positions filled. Yeah. And That's if you true. have money, you can give us to it at the same time. That helps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's kind of a reverse job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, but you can do us a favor. Just go ahead and uh, sign up at uh, audibletrial.com dot com slash the shaft and get yourself a book. Yeah, or two if you stay longer. So, uh, Leo here, and I assume this is Leo Laporte. Hi, my name is <laughs> Leo Sidon. So okay, so he's going under a pseudonym, <laughs> and I have a question. I'm going to start my own Minecraft. Po- oh no, we got to stop right now then. What happened? No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) So, I'm going to start my own Minecraft podcast. It is Leo Laporte. Uh, Do you have any tips or tricks to get started? Also, how how do I make an episode long? Like, keep talking about the same topic for a long time? Yeah. And I added the question mark because it's a period. Um, Okay. So, to answer your first question, do you have any tips or tricks to get started? My first tip for any person starting to a, starting a podcast is to not be boring. <laughs> not be boring. <laughs> Just talking at the microphone does not make a good podcast. Well, but that's um I mean, I appreciate that as a tip, but like I kind of feel like the internet y- you can find a niche in everything. There there's actually some people that might like a boring podcast because there's I mean you know what I mean yeah you know uh, well the the issue is that you don't want to have the same podcast as the next three fellas right you, you want to maybe not be not just not boring but you want to be different and yeah. so like you know when I was starting my thing what I, one of the things I looked at was a lot of these let's players they never talk about anything outside of the game and I constantly go all over the city <laughs> doing crazy <laughs> shit. I mean. <laughs> I, sorry, Eric. You're gonna have to bleep that out. Uh, I, I go all over Nashville doing all sorts of crazy stuff: hot chicken festivals, politicians, picnics, all sorts of stuff. And yeah. so, what I want to do is I want to bring that back. And like when I'm building a bridge over the void, and you know it's tense but not necessarily new or exciting, because you know people know I'm gonna place a block, edge out, and place another block. You know, uh, right. if I talk about something that's different and that somebody uh, uh, who does live in the UK or who does live in the Midwest they don't have hot chicken festivals they don't have uh, half the stuff Nashville has do they have a real Parthenon well the Greeks do but they didn't take good care of it so you know so that's just the sort of thing that you want to pull in so if this guy or girl or whoever is writing you has something that makes them different from anyone else who makes a, a podcast you know Try and find a way to build the podcast around it would be my advice. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Also, uh, uh, be consistent with it, too. Don't just do it, like, for a week or two, and you know, and then just stop and then slack off and stuff like that. Uh, just, you know, as long as you do it every single week. I mean, I guess it's probably an obvious one. A lot of YouTubers know the same thing. I mean, if you stop putting videos out, people will just kind of wander away and find something else, right? Yeah, and, and get an Eric to edit it for you. Yeah, get so somebody to edit. good. Like, don't just record it and then throw it up there thinking it sounds great, because it, it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. No matter how well you think you sounded on it, it's not going to sound as good as if Eric edits it. <laughs> yeah. Or gives you the tool to edit it. Yeah. So... Uh, and for your next part, uh, how long to make the episode? Uh, it depends on what you're talking about. It's just, uh, I don't know. I, I we <laughs> If you're having fun, the fun is going to come through with what you're doing. If you're just talking to talk, don't do it. Like, we do yeah. shows for like two hours, and we think it's way too long. Uh, yes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I would but say But then Bombcast is two and a half hours long. Wow. I was, I was yeah, like, wow. Long. 
Yeah, yeah. And they're up there ahead of us. Yeah. So maybe that's the trick. Maybe we should make this a three-hour show. Screw them. <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, start off small. So why don't you start off with a segment? Say, send it to us. Uh, start off with a little Minecraft segment. And if we play it on the air, then you know you're going somewhere okay with it. You're yeah. going places, kid. And if we don't play it, then it probably sucks <laughs> really bad. Uh, so yeah, because we'll play almost anything. <laughs> almost. <laughs> I, I'm a little bit offended now, Brent, because I, when I sent in my first voicemail about this map series, Eric never played it for y'all. He just slapped it at the end of the episode. Uh, oh, no, it got played though. Yeah. Well, it I know. Played. I'm just saying that wasn't exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I no, think no, no. Like, um, if, if people ever wonder about that, we usually, if it's something we feel like needs commenting on, yeah, then yeah. we'll put it during the show so we can comment on it. But if it's just kind of uh, informational or. Um, you know, that sort of thing we just throw on at the end just because, you know, what's well, that, the point? That warms my heart. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually, t- uh, at the end of this episode, you'll hear, uh, is it G-Dog 666166? Yeah, you know? it is. Um, he uh, sent in a, uh, uh, a voicemail last week about us not doing an episode. So um, it's, it's pretty funny. He just kind of um, tries to uh, make himself feel better by... Talking in weird accents. Anyway, so you hear that at the end. So, uh, so yeah, you don't suck necessarily. At least about that audio clip. At least, right? Yeah, you might suck in other I mean, ways. Personally, you may suck. Mm-hmm. Might be a turkey baster too. Okay, right? so uh, <laughs> I think that's enough. I think we proved our point. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just move on at some point. So what do we got here from Stuart, Wes? Stuart. So Stuart has to say, what is the best material to build a house with? Cobblestone. Sandstone. Mm. Brick. The best to build. Um, sandstone's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. We could have done like, you know, hay and then sticks and then bricks. I don't know. Like, <laughs> like wool is cool. I don't know. Like solid stone? What about solid stone? What is the most that's annoying it. creature in the game? Mm. I mean, the creeper. I mean, the he's zombie pig man. Because if you start building rails in the nether, they're always going to be on top of your railway. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. They're pretty annoying. I, I say the spider for me. It's just, it's awkward to kill, and it's just, it goes up and down ladders and stuff, and it's just yeah. like, it's dark and hard to see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going with cows. I mean, when I see a creeper, I just want to hug it. You go with cows, annoying cows? Yeah. Always getting all up in your way. No, no, I just, I see them and they annoy me. Ernest had a question, <laughs> or he, no, he had something to offer. Oh, cool. Does somebody else want to read this? Really? Sure. Ernest has a... Uh, he wanted to share with us a Minecraft pocket reference that he put together. And we'll link that at diamondboots.com. And I hope that's not some, like, penis enlarger link, because I did not check it yet. Yikes. <laughs> uh, so, so go to that link <laughs> and get enlarged. <laughs> Your Minecraft informed, brain informed. <laughs> oh yeah, this is actually oh a pocket reference, right? It's it's uh, it's set oh, up for cool. a like an iPhone or a portable. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, well, hey, I, I like it. Steal okay. that and make an app out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh wait. Uh, okay, good job there. And lastly, lastly, Wondercraft. 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 Anybody know about this? I don't know about. I didn't. Uh, know. This is Wondercraft. We're gonna get him on the show, uh, maybe uh, this month sometime. I, I've got to talk to him again. But he's actually having a Wondercraft for charity, and, and uh, we'll link to it. But uh, there's a T-shirt. There's original artwork. There's uh, uh, oh, some yeah. uh, uh, prints. Uh, and he's giving 50% of all the moolah that is raised to doctorswithoutborders.org. Nice. Yeah. And he's got a great picture that he made of the Enderman. It's really cool. And he's a cool guy, too. I hung out with them the other night in a Google Hangout. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Okay. Wondercraft. I hear a chicken. You hear a chicken. I heard some hissing. <laughs> Oh, you might want to take that and to the doctor, and maybe someone will let you know what it means. Yeah. Or something. Maybe. Or maybe you need to push a button, finally. <laughs> letting me sit here and waffle. Oh, and listening there's to buttons in our future? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right, then. Uh, maybe it's uh, this one. X.
the patient station. Oh. How long did it take you to actually catch a chicken getting blown up, blown up by a creeper and record the audio? 76,000 times. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what else course, is crazy? Of course, course, Kmart sucks. <laughs> you what? know what else is crazy? What's crazy? This first uh, excavation station that was sent into us. Oh, yes. And here it is. Hi, guys. Smart 11 here. And uh, I'm sorry for a co- couple of weeks ago when I sent in that uh, listener contribution or uh, whatever it was with the kids crying in the background. I don't beat them with a sword, just to let everyone know. Uh, I have another uh, contribution for Excavation Station. I thought that if you, I don't know, control clicked on an item, uh, when it ran out, the next tool above it could fall down and replace it. Uh, Make mining a lot faster and easier, uh, and it would just speed up the game. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right. So what you're saying is, while you're beating children, if for any reason the implement that you're using to beat your children wears out, you'd like for another one to appear in your hands instantly. <laughs> nice. I think I think that's exactly what he's saying. So uh, is it is it basically a way to to uh, cue cue implements? Yeah, like uh, in the in the hot bar. Like you've you've used up something on your hot bar and then it gets replenished. Like if there's another item. one in your inventory that's the same thing that it automatically gets. I mean, it in basically, there. I guess my only problem with it is it just basically means that your tool is now as big as your inventory. Hey, right? Like if you have twenty diamond picks in your inventory, then your diamond picks now a twenty times diamond pick. Oh yeah. That's a large tool. You're a large tool. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just saying he wants stuff queued, right? Yeah, they'd be queued up and then just yeah. pop in. Okay. Right. So it but it would basically be one giant pick at that point. Well, I kinda like the uh stress factor of having you your sword wear out in the middle of a fight. Like I I think that that's a an yeah. intentional choice. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I you know actually when I was uh, playing earlier today, I I made the choice to take out a sword that had a few hits left in it for one that was full, so I wouldn't be screwed in a battle. And now I have this sword with two hits on it. That what do I do? <laughs> I can't repurpose it. I don't. I guess I could use it to stab cows with. Break pumpkins. You could. Yeah. Pumpkin smash. That's my tip for the week. Excellent tip. And moving right along. Let's, uh, let's just do all Hello, calls. Hello, citizens of the Shaft. This is Xenoverist calling in with my idea for Excavation Station. Um, a while ago, you mentioned the idea of using magic in Minecraft. And though this seems a bit difficult, I think it would be pretty easy to do using a 3x3 crafting area where you would put runes or specific items um, to create different spells which you could then deploy. Thanks. This is Xenoverist shining out. I agree. I still think it. Sh- it I think an alchemy direction would probably be a better thing. You know. Yeah. Kind of like you have a potion of fireball and you throw it. Would that be considered a new weapon? Maybe. <laughs> uh, that's true, huh? <laughs> I. You know. I. You know. Like I said, I think they'll recant that. But I uh, think they will too. I, you know, I don't know that yeah. I would want to see weaponized magic. But magic that was essentially designed for civil engineering purposes, like something where you could just turn a whole bunch of dirt into, I don't know, something else. Like you could just make a pond by striking the ground. Or you could turn a pond into lava or something different like that. No, yeah. Joe, Joe uh, you're going to have to be careful because you're going to give away your non southernness if you say something like, I don't want more weapons. <laughs> We're from the south here. Anytime well, there's I, a choice to have a weapon involved, the answer is yes. <laughs> Brand, you're assuming that I am not already equipped with all the weapons I need. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think that just it, it demonstrates a, a being a little bit green behind the ears or whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hear about repairs. All right, then. Hi, this is uh, Jacob Jacobs Three calling. I had a question for the shaft. Uh, Rather, a suggestion. Why not have a uh, ability to put 
have used pickaxes or swords or something into your crafting table, maybe put two of them that are half used, kind of like in uh, Fallout 3, where you could repair items by using half broken items to, you know, maybe repair them a little bit more. That way, you know, you have a bunch of half used picks all the time and you can, you know, make better ones out of it. Um, just thought that'd be a good way to maybe like uh, reduce, um, reduce chests and stuff. I'm rambling a little bit. I love the show, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah. Okay. I like that. It's a, it's a good method of, uh, of repairing. Take a couple of, of already broken ones. And uh, mush them together, and one pops out. Maybe maybe you have to put together four used ones or something. You know, I mean, you don't want to make it too easy. Well, uh, or you could just add the number of uses. So if you got three uses left in one diamond pick and fifty left in another, you get a new pick with fifty-three uses. Oh, or maybe see, yeah. you folks could start planning better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and, come and on. Brent's like, here to blame the victim. Like I have, mm-hmm. I have like switched my playing method around. Like used to, I would make my wooden stuff, and I would have like a stack of like a wooden shovel and like three wooden picks, and then you know like a wooden this and wooden that. You don't need all that crap. You need one wooden pick. That's it. Yeah, and then go beat yourself some cobblestone and make yourself some cobblestone tools. You and then just throw that damn thing away. It was wood. It was like four or five pieces of wood, <laughs> if that. Just throw it away. Quit whining about it, or repurpose it by stabbing a cow in the face. Well, there's hmm. actually a feller since we're on excavation station anyway. There's a feller from Reddit named Merle Duder who recommended that wooden tools be usable as fuel in a furnace. So uh, you use them to cook meat or whatever. Ding ding ding. When you're done with them. I like that. I like what that. That's an have awesome one, idea. Yep, yeah. courtesy of Merle Duder. Merle Duder. He's a good feller. He's a duder. He's a duder. He likes turkey basters. All right, we got uh, another one here, and let's let it rip. Hey, Shaft. This is for Excavation Station. So I would like to just say, if you have ever heard heard the book Pen Dragon, which I'm pretty sure you can listen to on Audible, then you would know that there are two kinds of things that people would mine, tack and glaze. Tack would be an easier way of getting sulfur instead of having to kill creepers, just in case you're one of those people who play, like, well, peaceful. But glaze, you can use that for a better light source. It would be better than torches, barely, and it would be a replacement to coal. Well, that's my idea, guys. See ya. I didn't catch a name there. I don't think he gave one, did he? No. That was good stuff, though. That was good stuff. Pendragon? Is that the name of the book he said? Like, as in yeah. Camelot? Yeah. Oh, okay. We gotta find that call, because he's one of the winners, so we gotta find his name. Oh, the we'll wiener? get to that in a bit. Oh, okay. Well, uh, so I don't know what that book is. Uh, he said Tap and Blaze? Or tack, Blaze? Tack and Glaze. And Glaze, yeah. So new new mining type type things. Yeah, I don't know. You know, tack and glaze. Yeah, I'm not your, familiar with this at all. I'm your candles. Have brighter. you read the book? Do you know what he's talking about? I don't know what the hell's going Pendragon. on. I only know minerals that are in Dwarf Fortress, so I can talk to you a lot about Kimberlot and you know things like that, Gabbro layers. But yeah, you tell me about tack and glaze from Pendragon, I got no clue. Ah, uh, okay. Well but, then. Uh, I like the ideas behind the ideas. I like it. So let's uh, let's talk about uh, ice picks. Ice picks in the house. Hey, shafters, shaftites, shaft aliens, maybe. Um, this is Jack Watson, fifty-four, and I've been a loyal listener since episode one, but I've never actually played Minecraft. But I do have an idea for excavation station. Uh, my idea is. Like some ice picks. Like if you're gonna, you could scale a wall with them or something so you wouldn't have to dig as much or you wouldn't have to jump, put a block under you, jump, put a block under you. Up to the top of the mountain, you could just scale up the side of it. You would stick it, stick one arm, you'd have like a dual wheel type looking thing, pickaxes, and you'd stick one up, pull yourself up a little bit, put your other arm in. And I think this would save time and it would look really badass if you kill a sheep with that. That's my idea. Thanks for listening. Maybe. Maybe that's what you say. Whatever. Love the show. Keep keep it up. 
And bye. Well, I gotta say, uh, with when, when people actually do train to climb mountains, they spend an entire day in training, essentially just sliding down walls and practicing jamming the pick into the slope to avoid falling further as a life-saving uh, technique. Right. And so while it might seem like it makes sense to use the pick to climb, I think actually using it to arrest your fall if you were to accidentally step off a cliff might be nice. Oh, I see. Okay. I like that uh, you can use it to kill things and then your evidence melts away. So, you know, forensics wouldn't be on you. You know, you kill somebody with an ice pick, right? You do that, right? I don't, I don't, I don't, no I don't think the pick's it. actually made out of ice. Yeah, that's not how you oh, it. Oh, is it not made out of ice? ice? No, it's like oh. an ice axe is actually... The, it's, it's what people <laughs> use when they climb mountains. Oh, uh, well, an ice pick is better if you're trying to get away with murder, but... Yeah, you'll shoot know. your eye out, crap. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Uh, so Christmas just like a um, so just like a spike, like a, some sort of well, metal thing. Do you right? think that would make the game more fun to do something like make it where you couldn't build under yourself, like so you couldn't stack up and like climb that way? That now you would need some kind of tool, hmm. like an ice pick or rope and rappelling gear or something to climb up a a big steep hill. Oh, I see. They also already have ladders, and they haven't gotten rid of uh, pillaring. So I don't know that they would necessarily get rid of that. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, ice pickeroonies. What do you think about that, Wes? Are you a fan of the ice pick? I have been doing research on tack and glaze. Oh, okay. Did you um, find anything good? These are minerals in the Pendragon world. Uh, and and actually they're not covered very well, um, so I guess I need to read this read the book to understand it. Further. Well, glaze makes torches brighter. What well, says here? <laughs> In the Pilgrims of Rain, Bobby Pendragon bought uh, a digo from Zada to Denduran so that he could mine tack. <laughs> he needed the tack to take back to Ibarra and fight the dados that Saint Dane brought. The battle ended when Bobby used a large amount of tack to destroy all the dados at once, as well as the village of rain. And then, in the Merchant of Death, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There was a large cart filled with tack, and it was topped with glaze to disguise it. Cool. So, like, everything's named like Dados and blah blah blah, and blah, 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 <laughs> except for the main character who's named Bobby. Yes. Yes. Is, is there exactly. A little is the author's name Bobby? <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> you name it some Bobby. Propane. Sell a tack and tack accessories. <laughs> <laughs> you want some tack? I gave you some tack and glaze. Damn it, Bobby! Go clean your room. <laughs> Hide my tack. Nice. Uh, All right. Well, good. Uh, well, we have one last one here uh, to. Uh, finalize our excavation station from Tyker? Tyser. Something like that. Tyser. He says, here is my idea for excavation station or however you spell it. <laughs> <laughs> excavation. Um, uh, how about when you place a block, you can hit it with a new tool. Example, a wrench will rotate the block. Like a sentry gun. Yep. Oh, okay. If yeah, that yeah. worked on pistons, I would be thrilled because placing pistons is like Really, oh, annoying. exactly. That's true. And then he says, So the wood design uh, can be facing different ways, example, or wood from trees can be sideways. What do you think? Oh, that's good. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, being able to rotate anything. Yeah, I dig it. What, what about a way now, to but would um, this kill? Like, I, you know, there's people want things and it's awesome, but then sometimes you got to get down into reality of the code. And is this something where they can save a lot of, like, memory and stuff by having everything in one direction? Yes. Yeah. That's a huge... Oh, yeah. So now if you had something that could be in two... Basically two directions is all you have to really well, worry about. No, nah, yeah. it could be in... Because if things have a top and a bottom that are distinct, like a crafting table or a piston, that's so, actually eight. So now you're talking six. flipping, too, yeah. and not just rotating. So that's at least, like, six bytes yeah. per block, which is um, a lot. So yeah, I like so I like the idea. It's a good you, idea, but you totally just... brought us down with that. So <laughs> that was really loud. But uh, sorry, yeah, Tyser. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm too sorry you we... sent in such a crappy idea. Too much memory no, loss. Good. Yeah, it's actually a good idea. It yeah. is, but we we can't support it. Yeah, too bad we hate it. 
All right, so the next one here <laughs> is uh, is this right here? Sightings. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, it's so intense. All right. mega oh cool, my baby. god, it is so hot in here. Sightings. Sighting. I'm sighting some heat. Sightings. Yeah, we need to get through this because I'm burning up. Yeah, I'm. 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 I'm burning. I'm losing I'm water. Burning, I'm losing burning. water. So, we've got some videos here. Who put these in here? Uh probably I think Eric put them probably, all in here. Probably me. Really? All right. So let's uh, gloss through these real quick. Uh, the first one is Minecraft Moon Trip. This is by SS Lithuania, the one who brought us Minecraft Predator. Nice. Uh, and this is a very nice little trip through the cosmos, kind of like uh, Minecraft Universe. Did and they ride it's, a flying pig? Neat. No. But uh, lots of hijinks went down on the moon, and uh, check it out. It's a cool video. Who went down on the moon? Uh, And how much did the moon pay? (laughs) hey (laughs) yo. Hey, if you're bright enough, you don't have to pay. Oh. Oh. Um, Also, uh, by the same guy, SS Lithuania, made the Enderman video, the fan-made video that uh, is really cool. It's really creepy. It, It shows what might... What it might be like to uh, to look at, you know, to gaze into the eyes of an Enderman. Yes. And uh, also... But fake? Fake, fake, fake. Fake. Fakey, fakey, fake. Fake, fake, fake. F- fake and takay. So this <laughs> next one here is uh, uh, Bitburner came up with a cool idea to make a new site. And uh, Aleph Null and Astragali are, are working on it with him. And in fact, Astragali came up with the name stevesnuggets.com. Uh, Steve's Nuggets. <laughs> that guy. The Shaft and Steve's Nuggets sound like a match made in heaven. Isn't that cool? So it's basically like, um, uh, it, it's like a Reddit or, or a dig. Yeah. Um, kind of more closer to dig, uh, putting articles in there and voting the good ones up to the top and everything. And um, it's laid out very nice and it's uh, it's it's real nice. It's it's real cool. So, um, so definitely check it out. Steve's Nuggets. Nuggets. And I noticed the uh, top one on Steve Nuggets was a uh, Star Wars one. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Shaft Wars, A New Hope. Oh, yes. That's <laughs> right. We need, we need to put this into the show, uh, into the show notes as yeah. well. Uh, this is... Um, you know what? Let's just have people click this link and, and look and yeah. see for yourself what this is. It's, it's called Shaft Wars, A New Hope in the show notes. Uh, Bitburner made this. Um, it's got it's got us in it, and it also stars Minecraft, Minecraft chick. Yeah. Is Notch in it as well? Uh, yes, in the I third think. one. Okay. Uh, so check this out. It'll creep you out um, and give you nightmares. And this last one. <laughs> what is this? Isn't Someone that else? the? Is that the? thing you were talking about earlier with the yeah, yeah, yeah the underworld oh, yeah, build yeah. that was just the link for to make it easier yeah. for y'all okay cool cool so that puts us to housekeep oh huh what we oh. suck you oh. <laughs> that was to- that was totally inappropriate <laughs> I never say such garbage <laughs> why you why you why you do that to me then go away <laughs> <laughs> me and four pillow there it is <laughs> All right, excellent. You know what? Uh, um, a couple of people in the chat room were were telling us over the weekend when when we were streaming from our hotel room that w- we should maybe have the the housekeeping uh, do that segment. You know, do that bumper for us and have us record them. None it. of them knew English though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not even trying to be like funny about it, but like I was like. You know, oh, how, you having a good day? And they looked at me like I was, like, from Mars. <laughs> like, well, I was truly just trying to be nice and be like, you know, you really don't have to clean our room because we're messy slobs and we just need towels and coffee. That's all yeah. we need. Maybe a bar of soap. And she's, like, looking at you, like, and so I just left. I was yeah. just like, okay, you do a good job. Yeah. Yeah. And you are from Mars, so. Okay, here's, here's a new cool thing we put out on our uh, YouTube channel yesterday. Um, we uh, we want to get caught up and put all of the Shaft episodes online, uh, but we didn't actually start recording the video uh, s- until episode 10. Oh. So, uh, so right now you can go and check out the, uh, the Shaft episode 1, which is animated. 
uh, instead of us uh, on the uh, on on YouTube, and it was done by Aussie Convict, which is a uh, he's a longtime listener of our shows of uh, Control Point, and uh, and he uh, is of uh, his company there is uh, Two Bop Productions. And it's brilliant. It's really good. We're all animated and, yep. and Minecraft. Sticking our tongues out. And uh, he did episode one. He's also did uh, two. I'll probably have that up online uh, by the time this this airs. And uh, it's really cool. And uh, also, I'm going to put a link here on the show notes that will give you... Um, he started a thread on our forums that shows you how to make your own if you want. So he's created a kit out of this so that you can actually edit together... You're, you know, an animated thing of us. So I think what it would be cool is if some, maybe some people did uh, some some little short segments, like uh, pick out something funny, maybe from, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, an episode where we talk about our journeys or a, a wacky uh, excavation station entry and, and animate that. And then you can show, you know, some extra stuff. Like if we're talking about, like, you know, I don't know, nipples. whatever. Yeah, nipples, nipples like um, giant nipples um, in you a volcano. You can always just have it say, follow us, uh, you know, at Brent Copeland on Twitter. Yeah, you That'd could. be a really funny one. You could, you could do that. Uh, so, anyway, so great, great job. Uh, and uh, it's, it's really cool to see our animated selves there. And uh, so, I think that goes to... Uh, shout don't, out. Sh- oh. Whoa. No shout well, outs today? Oh, no. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Do you no. still have well, something no, to say? Just, just going on. You know, remember, if you want to play on our server, go to the forums and figure out how to get back to 1.6.6. And please quit sending us emails about that you read the rules because you didn't read the rules if you sent us an email. Yes. And if you start a that. new thread and said, I want to, I read the rules, you didn't read the rules. Yeah, so go back yeah. and re-read the rules, and it will tell right. you exactly what to do. Don't forget the uh, Dead Workers Party party in October. Please come down. We want to see all of y'all. We will have pins for everyone. Yep. Guarantee it. Also, um, I said Aussie. I meant to say Aussie. Aussie convict. Is that how you say it? Auss- Aussie? Is that because all Australians were uh, convicts at one point? <laughs> Yikes. Well, I mean, that's what they were. They were like a big prison island. Oh, yeah. Right? I think so. So, yeah. All, wait, am I not going to down to like number two in Australia? Well, that's one place I, I really want to visit. Those Australia. are the two places, Australia and Japan. Oh, yeah? That's two places true. I want to go before I die. True, true. They're on my bucket list. Yeah. And speaking of bucket, I wish they would hurry up and fix everything so we could get our server to the newest one. Yeah. Did that but cover everyone? Thing. If you if you don't, there is a thread on our on our server about loading old versions of Minecraft uh, in our in our forums. So check yeah. it out. Cool. There's even a mod that will let you pick download and pick the jar that you want to load. That sounds pretty easy. It is. It's dirty. I did it. That is how easy it is. Can you come over to my house later and do it for me? I can point you to the thread. <laughs> Not enough. Yeah, you can click the link on the show notes, Brent. <laughs> it's probably been in like five show notes for the yeah. past. <laughs> Something like that. Five shows. Yeah. <laughs> Good math. Thanks. I am. Uh, I'm. I'm wasting away. It is so hot in the studio. Is today. it Margaritaville? Are it we going to do shout outs? We have shout outs. What are all these people here? My shout out shout is outs. to an air conditioning repair man who will come here and fix the air conditioner at the DWV studios. All we, right. We shout have out winners. To the AC guy. Woo. Ah! Yeah. Huh? Shout oh, out so everybody. Wild. I think he waited on purpose. So. We, we have some winners for the uh, Jinx contest. I know you've been waiting on pins and needles. And uh, we're going to have to get some emails from some of these people because Eric archived them and I don't know where they are now. So uh, the first two were ones that sent in tips. Uh, These were emailed in. Uh, BK, congratulations. You won with your tip when placing redstone down beside one another. Try using repeaters instead so the redstone doesn't interfere with each other. Oh, that's actually useful. Uh, The next winner is Oxygen. Who uh, says, idea for new content, an older section. I'm in my 40s, but I love Minecraft. 
I went to all stages from Pong, Wolfenstein, Half-Life to Minecraft. I like to hear you talk about what changed during the years, what didn't change and what should return, and what shouldn't best and worst games during those years, and how do you relate in Minecraft and other words, retro and nostalgia. It's wow, that just all mushed together at the end. Didn't it did. Well, what I got out of that a lot is of words. Core Elements is an excellent podcast <laughs> by the Dead Workers Party in which Wes has a segment where he talks about nostalgia and how games have changed through the years. Yes. And I've added it to my little iTunes feed download automated thing. Yes. And I think you should do once you figure out what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, can, you can find Core Elements on uh, iTunes. You can find it at uh, coreelementspodcast.blogspot.com. I hope we'll have a link off of the main DW page, DW page, at some point in time. Never. Uh, I don't even know where that page is anymore. I don't either. God. God. You uh, have to send me a link. Just send me a link and say, I want a link on this page. Okay, I'll do it. And, uh, Just look forward in the show notes. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, you should you should check out Core Elements. Uh, it's it's a it's a neat show, and uh, we we cover a lot of those things like, you know how how we've enjoyed gaming over the year and years and over the year, the heat the heat it's getting to me. Yeah, I got five more winners here, Wes. Okay, sorry. Oh sorry. no, I got G Dog, G Dog, your winner. Congrats, fifteen dollars, Jinx. Hey, cool. He's he's awesome. I like him. Zeno Veris, winner. Fifteen dollars. Nice, Jack uh, BS. Jack of BS. Jacob S. Jack Jake, of BS. There three. you go. Jacob BS three. A winner. Am I counting this right? Pin the guy who sent in the pin dragon call. Pin dragon call. Yeah. The winner. But we don't have your name. Well, it's in somewhere in our archive. We'll oh. figure it out. Uh, and I, the guy who sent in the stuff about the ice pigs. Yay, ice pigs! Hey, cool, ice pigs. Winner. Are awesome. So you all win fifteen dollars to spend at Jinx. Yay! And you'll get an email at some point in the future. <laughs> <laughs> you notice I didn't slip near in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and if you uh, if you want it sooner, send me an email, and I'll give it to you. Sweet. But I will look for it and hopefully have these out next week in all seriously. Did Joe? Is there time for me to give a few shout outs? Yes! Okay, I just want to thank my commenters because honestly, when I did the first few videos, I wouldn't have kept making them if I didn't have an audience. I want to thank Iraw Media. I want to thank Vetches. I want to thank S Royal, Camelena, Jade Knight, and uh, uh, there's all these letters and numbers D Bow Stop or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like maybe 155 more. So thank y'all. Awesome. But y'all weren't important enough to actually say. <laughs> no. <laughs> Those are the folks that I had quotes for queued up. I, I was going to quote their comments that's in the, the podcast. That's the uh, Four Loco talking, Joe. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no worries. All I right. just, uh, you know, people yell at us. I like to spread that around. Yeah. Spread it. Like a schlitz. <laughs> like you're like you're based in a turkey. Yeah, so I gotta go uh, take a schlitz. Let's get on out of here. Joe, thank you for joining us. Yes. Thank you for having me. It's always a joy to be down here in Huntsville. And uh, anybody who's interested in checking out Joe's videos, we'll put the links in the show notes. Thank you very much. Have a great And what's your Twitter? Um, Joe Hills on Twitter. That's right. easy enough. And, the, and and there's no accent on the Twitter feed. <laughs> no, it's, but it is limited to about 140 characters. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. And which knocks that accent right out. <laughs> you need at least a you know, 250. Well, yup <laughs> and yup are very easily spelled differently. That Y-U-P is a lot cheaper than Y-E-A-P-P-P-P-P. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay so uh, let's uh, get on out of shit. Get on. Right. Bye. Congratulations, you made it through The Shaft alive. See show notes and leave comments for this episode at theshaft.deadworkers.com. Send questions, comments, and audio to theshaft at deadworkers.com or leave us a voicemail at 256-812-1010. Hey guys, I just want to let you know that I've been the guy doing all the griefing on the chef friend. You can ban me at Nailhead. So yeah, bye. Hey guys, um, it's Sunny Bear here. I was just um, watching a Philip DeFranco show and at the very end, he mo made a quote to dolphins with laser beams attached to their heads. And there's a podcast a while back that you mentioned that you wanted dolphins with laser beams attached to their 
there in the game. And if you saw the um, Minecraft Monday uh, um, Philip DeFranco interview, he's playing Minecraft now. So we may have Philip DeFranco as a chef type. Dun, dun, dun. Hello? Hello? Uh, anybody there? Hello, the shaft. Hello. Housekeeping, Mr. Pillow. Hello. Oh, you guys must be out. Oh, well, no show this week. Never mind. Oh, well, I guess to find something else to do, won't I? Yeah, I guess I will. <sighs> I don't know what to do now. I could always do some funny voices. They're always good fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the same, though. God, it's actually quite empty without the shaft podcast. MP3 players sitting here with nothing on it. Oh, well, never mind. Um, um, well, I suppose I could leave you a message. That's always a possibility, leave you a message. Uh, yeah, thanks for the feedback. Um, shame my idea of the special, uh, what you would you call it? I suppose you would call it the magical jests. Uh, didn't go down too well, but never mind. It was just an idea. You know, these things pop into the old noggin sometimes and, uh, yeah, and, uh, obviously not a good idea. Oh well. Well, I'm building lots of stuff at the moment. You can find it on my YouTube channel. You guys know the address, so, you know, you can have a look at that. And that's it, really. So, I'm hoping I get some new stuff to talk about. Has there been any news about the adventure packs? Anything at all? No? Oh well. Well, I've been checking out the Six Gun Productions, uh, things about Minecraft. Very good. Of course, the Yogcast as well. Ah, £50 for me. Uh, yeah, Yogcast, I've been watching that. They've been doing some crazy, funky, weird and wacky stuff. Simon and Lewis are just pure legends, aren't they? Let's be honest. So, and of course, don't forget you guys as well at the shaft. So, yeah, um, well, uh, hope you're back next week and I hope you enjoyed your con thing as well. I don't get to go, I don't get to, go to cons, you know. Quite boring, really. Ah, well. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to do some more building in Minecraft, but I bet get today's work done as well. Okay, guys, catch you all next time. Bye for now. And remember, keep on shafting! Who's the guy who can conquer death? That's Joe Hills. He plays for Nashville when he plays Minecraft. That's Joe Hills. That's Joe Hills. Dead Workers Party Network. The shaft that smiles back.